Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. I'm here with, as previously described in another video, my pink pre, my uh, my car that if I'm ever a hunter in a Survive the Hunt on the Fail Race channel, which is really, really unlikely, I am prepared. I have this car so that it can be blown up and then I would know where the hunt it is. But, you know, you've got a dream. What if I was the hunted? I mean, this car is not going to help me very much. It's, it's not a very good car to be hunted in. So another removed vehicle, the Radius, or as they like to call it on the channel, the Mipover, purchased as part of the FOMO Panic of 2023. This is an ideal car to have in your back pocket. Now, generally speaking, when you're watching, you know, that challenge, one of the Survive the Hunt videos, mostly Casino Royale is working with vehicles off the street. He very rarely, if ever, pulls in a personal vehicle. I've never seen anything that said it's illegal. It's against the rules of the chase. And so if in your back pocket you had something like the Radius, which is completely, completely, you know, unobtrusive, but has a full gambit of performance upgrades, this can be extremely useful. And also the, uh, the Mipover, as they call it, is a bit of a meme on that channel. Where it's 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 right up there with you know. Every channel has their certain cars that have you know value or significance because of things that have happened on the channel. This is one of those cars, one of those meme cars that uh, that you see. So I figure, hey, I better get myself a mup of her, park it next to my pre, as they call it. They refer to the dilettante, which is a Prius as a pre, just for short. And uh, so that's again another in the the vernacular of the channel kind of things here. If you haven't watched the Survive the Hunt, you really should. I'll put a link in the description. It's a very a very interesting kind of thing. It's a lot of a lot of sneaking around and a lot of terror. It's 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 really kind of cool. So here I am trying to figure out how subtle can I make one of these. I think I just ended up making it all black. Just classic black, just a black car. Left the suspension up because it has to notice that. Didn't put any lights on it, but it's got a turbo. The wheels, we just want you know, bulletproof tires. And I know what you're thinking. Well, what if you're about to do this and then the hunters have seen this video? Well, first of all, That'd be wonderful. They've seen a video, and I, you know, and even so, it's still, it's just a black radius. And since a lot of times, sometimes some of the hunters use personal cars, some of them are using cars off the street because they had to provide a car on the street for the Prius. You know, they have to put out their pig free. And along, you know, these roads, this will do very well. It's, it's not going to outrun like, you know, a Comet or something like that, but it's got armor, it's resilient. And again, it's a meme. It's a meme vehicle. you got to love meme cars. Visually, it is, you know, not something you're going to notice. I didn't smoke the windows. You think, well, yeah, I smoked the window, but that'll, that'll immediately get attention. If you just stopped at lights and you drive normally, I probably would have to finally break down and get a controller, get an Xbox controller, hook it to the PC, just so I could do more throttle control. Going from light to light and making sure nobody was going to notice me. And again, there are probably better cars for this. The Oracle's probably better. Maybe even the Stratum next to me. I don't know. 
definitely not the uh, not the caddy over here. That's a little bit slow. You don't want anything too slow. This car, you'd think it's slow. You'd think people wouldn't want to use it. I do a burnout there, pulling out. But now it's got it's got the EMS upgrade. It's got the turbo upgrade. But, the question that always comes to mind. I don't know why I'm getting... I'm voicing this over after the fact again. There's one other video I have to do this with in the, uh... For now. Will this car, will this radius, go up Mount Julia? Which is completely useless information for a uh, Survive the Hunt because you're not allowed to go that far on the map. You have to stay in the city. So this is this is never coming up, never coming up as a as an issue. You're not going to have to take this up Mount Chiliad. But maybe you know, just maybe you're curious. How how good is this SUV going up? Is a Muppaver something you could use in a G-Fred? Now this is a fully upgraded Muppaver. It's apparently, again, was something that was completely coined on the channel. It is here, right? That's a Granger XL. This is... I might have been making, at the time, some comment about that being my Hoovies Granger, the... Riptide Blue. There it is, the custom radius. Doesn't look very custom, and that is the goal. It's Chiliad Hot Lap Route. It's the Chiliad Hot Lap Route. Still dancing to my music in the Chiliad Hot Lap Route. Still trying to figure out the best path here, and that. Wasn't it, but it worked well enough. <coughs> A little bit to skidsy skids, but we're gonna get up to the track, I think, before the train gets there. A little bounce, bounce. A little struggle. Some knocked out windows. And down along the tracks. Yeah, there's a lot of cars in this game. They're, you know, and their entire you know, video series from different uh, YouTubers about forgotten cars. Now this is probably one, but it's a, it's a perfectly serviceable vehicle for getting around the map. It's serviceable. Serviceable. Am I saying it right? Am I stumbling over my mouth? I don't know. Perfectly serviceable vehicle. There you go. It's an SUV, and it's in the SUV's class, so I'd imagine it should be able to haul this no problem. I have, again, this has been a few weeks since I did this video. I don't remember what happened to me. Not even a little bit. Okay, bad line up there, but hey, bonk. Airborne into a tree, all right. But it, it seems to be pulling. It's got, it seems like it has enough power and enough traction. I think it is a little smoother over this way. I'm trying to remember that line. Now, every time I turn it sideways and look at it, see, look at this car going up the hill. Something goes horribly wrong. Ends up drifting off course or something like that. And that's a pretty vertical little section there, but it seems to be doing okay. Come on, baby. Yay, Mupaver! Again, can't say what the stock one would be. Without, without, without all the power upgrades, this might have a tougher time. But 
We're not testing every mother, we're testing my mother now, so. At least it didn't explode. It does have a lot of armor. Now, those of you who are saying, well, gee, if people are hunting you in a GTA kind of fashion, why would you use this? As opposed to, say, an armored room, Because you can't sneak in it. I mean, probably, there are probably some rules, like you can't pull out armored vehicles or weaponized vehicles, you know. Cruising around and say, oh, I don't know. A Toreador might be, uh... Might be prohibited. The Vigilante would be pretty good because you can knock everybody out of the way. That thing has some mass to it. Hit the rockets, get away, very small windows. The Armored Crew would be the ultimate cheer because you can't shoot through, shoot the object. The whole point is that they have to shoot you out of there. I guess if you, if you really, really shoot at it for long enough, you can punch through the vent. But, that's not the fun of the whole thing. So this is this is in the right spirit. I suppose if they ever did a G Fred in a free roam session as opposed to a race, I could pull this in and use it in G Fred and go great. But that's not how G Fred works. It's, it's a race just like this. We so can't. You can't select the car you want there, you just get your bicycle and you go. Oh yeah, this isn't blinding fast at this point. I'd even go so far as to say I think this would be a backup car. Like, it's not something I would choose primarily as a vehicle to use in a survive the hunt because it isn't all that good. You can, you can, there's a lot of faster cars that they're bringing to bear now. Taking this the alternate way around. I forget why. We got across both bridges. I may have been distracted by whatever I was saying at the time, but that's all lost. Lost to history. We really don't know. It wasn't recorded. Pleasant, I think, good-looking car. I wouldn't mind driving one of these to work. I don't know how the current Ford edges hold up. Are they, you know, Toyota levels of quality? You know, that kind of question. I mean, Ford, Ford has up years and down years. It's, it's an interesting thing. I mean, what set of years would this fall on? Is it a good Ford or a not so good Ford? Hey, it's good enough to make the jump if with a bit of a bounce. Now lots of traction. Almost there, game. Yeah. Pretty much a foregone conclusion here. The radius is gonna do it. Over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. Didn't even do the lock up and slide kind of thing there into the people. So we're just gonna drive around. And bang! What a nice slide at the end. Yay, I'm the winner. Of course, I was the only one racing, but, you know. Again, I think that's an attractive car, you know? 
that paused the video there, so we'll have to now do more editing. Great, that's just lovely. You won't see the video pause. I'm just going to have to work all that out. And let's see. What are we going to do? So we still have to visit the LS car meet with a personal vehicle. Did we do that? Looks like we may have. I just decided to teleport. I don't know what triggers here. You have to get in the vehicle and then it counts. You have to leave and come back in. Get the thing. What the hell? It's a personal vehicle. Shh. It's a personal vehicle. Shh. Don't let the fail race guys know. By the way, there's absolutely no. There you go. No, no uh, even concept. I'm gonna be involved in any of that. That's that's a pipe dream. But hey, you gotta have dreams, and sometimes dreams come true, right? I'll take a dream come true. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.